This little dot in there is a petrified. Um, <laughs> it's a Tic Tac. That's what an 11 year old uh, Tic Tac looks like. And it, it, it's beyond sentimental to me. It really is. Okay, what should anyone expect from me this season and what parts of me have stayed the same? There, there are still parts of me that, that are quite consistent, you know, but it's been 11 years since I've done RuPaul's Drag Race the first time. So I think there's definitely a certain level of growth uh, and also I've pro I'm probably less stressed out than I was the first time around. There's uh, a certain maturity and, and things that I bring to the table that I couldn't have the first time, uh, including, you know, 11 years now of just being a Rue girl. So I, 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 I think um, that fans will definitely feel nostalgic to see me there, just as I was being there. But for the most part, I think there's, there's still a few surprises. I think I, I even surprised myself in the process. There are things that I learned about myself while doing this second time around um, that I think could be quite unexpected from what people might, you know, think of what I am capable of doing. The difference is on season three, it was a season where we had to make a lot of things. And uh, the challenge for me this time around was that, you know, there was a lot more acting challenges and there were things where um, I had to exercise things like, you know, the things that I actually, you know, other parts of me that I really enjoyed doing, for instance, writing and comedy. And so I think that, that you can expect this time around, anyway. I was absolutely terrified to come on. I didn't know what to expect. I was, I was, you know, I had spent so many years, eight years of doing fashion photo review with World of Wonder, and uh, I, <laughs> I've, uh, you know, said maybe some awful things about the outfits that they've worn. So it was very, I was a little nervous about it, but you know what, you know, that, that, that it's, it's all part of the process, so. In my hand, I hold a Jonathan Adler uh, ceramic container that says dolls on it. And on my season of RuPaul's Drag Race, what most people don't realize is there was about three weeks to a month that we had to take time off and go back home. And when we returned in thanks for us being so patient, Ru and the, and the crew had given us these beautiful little jars. And so what I've done is I have used this and I keep this at an altar uh, in my home. First of all, it's signed underneath. It says to Raja from RuPaul. I had RuPaul sign it. And then this little black dot that's inside here, this little dot in there is a petrified, um, <laughs> it's a Tic Tac. That's what an 11 year old uh, Tic Tac looks like. And it, it, it's beyond sentimental to me. It really is, um, you know, it's a very particular uh, moment, a very special moment, and um, and I and I still have it. Yeah, I think about how lucky I am to have been uh, a part of this process, and how my career uh, was able to develop and 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 change. And that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me that not everybody is uh, allowed the moment to, or you know, no, not everybody gets to be a part of this process. And that's what it. That, that's a concept a reminder of that for me and how lucky I am to be in the place that I am and how thankful I am to be where I'm at now. This time around, I've decided to kind of revisit an idea that is so iconic, if you will. And um, I remember the first time uh, going on Drag Race and wanting to do something that, that would surprise the audience, something that was sort of unexpected. And this time I kind of wanted to go back to that idea of the I. I, um, you know, I, I believe in in uh, the mysticism of the eye and uh, and uh, I'm, I'm a visual person to begin with. There's a lot of connotations and a lot of different uh, things that I enjoy about the eye as a visual. 